What's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install MinGW compiler for C and C++ programming. So MinGW basically is the most popular and the best compiler for C and C++ programming in Windows. So let's get to the point and install the compiler. Therefore, open your browser and type in MinGW and hit enter. Here click the first link from sourceforge.net. Click on download and wait for a couple of minutes. Once it's finished downloading, here click on open folder. This is my MinGW setup file. So double click on the setup to install. This opens up the installer window. So click on install. This is the default directory so I would keep it as it is and click continue. Wait for some time until uh, it finished downloading important features. Now my download is complete. So click on continue. This opens up the MinGW installation manager. So in the MinGW installation manager, there are different packages that are going to be added. So here, right click on the first package and click on mark for installation and do it for all packages so that they will be included in your MinGW. After selecting all the packages, go to installations and click on apply changes. Now click on apply. Wait for a couple of minutes to get it installed. Now our download manager completed downloading and extracting all the important packages to the MinGW. So click on close. Now let's add the path of the MinGW compiler so that our system actually knows the compiler. So go to your C drive and here you can see the MinGW. Click on it. In the MinGW, click on bin and copy the path by right clicking here. It's important as it helps us to compile our code from anywhere in our system. Now go to the taskbar and search for environment variables. So type in environment variables and click on this environment variables option. This opens up the environment variables window. Click on environment variables. So click on pass, then edit. Here simply click on new and paste the path that we copied. Click on OK. Again, OK. Now we finished installing our MinGW compiler for C and C++ programming. So let's see if our MinGW compiler is correctly installed. So go to the search bar and type in CMD to open the command prompt. And on the command prompt window, type in GCC space dash dash version and hit enter. Here you can see that our compiler is correctly installed. So close this and let's write our first C program that prints hello world. So let's create a new folder on the desktop and name it C workspace. Now open the workspace and create a new text document and name it hello world.c as .c is the extension for C programs. Click on it and it opens up notepad to write our program. Now let's write the program. So this is going to be our first program in C. Now go to file and click on save. So it's saved as hello world.c. Here you can see that since the program is written in Notepad, the default extension is .txt. So to convert it to .c, go to View and Enable File Name Extensions. Now edit the extension as .c and it automatically changes the type into C source file. So now let's compile it. So here in the workspace, type in CMD and open the command prompt where we can actually compile our program. So type in GCC and the name of our C source file, which is hello world.c space dash O. And O is actually for output, as we expect an executable file as an output. And you can name this executable file. So let's simply name it as hello and hit enter. Our program is correctly compiled and you can see here that it generated this .exe file upon compiling, right? Now let's execute it to see the output. So simply type in uh, the name of the program, which we named as hello, and hit enter. Therefore, here you can see that the output hello world. So you are now able to write and run C programs. So thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.